I think it's very tempting to say, I'm going to be a handyman and go on to all these different categories of work and I can be really awesome at it. I'll charge $50 an hour. And that might be fine. You might be a handy mm -hmm. guy. You're making $50 an hour, but that's where you're stuck. You're not training yeah. anybody else to be a handyman. That's true. Yeah. But you're not scaling handyman services. Yeah. In in the traditional way that everyone looks at a handyman of being able to do anything in their house. They change the faucet. They're going to go fix yeah. a wall patch. They're going to do whatever else. It's a very tough business to scale. Yeah. I think you go back to the expectations and that like a lot of times if you can set healthy expectations for your customer when you're great at something. And I think if you, you know, you differentiate in this space when you do what you said you're going to do, you do a good job, you do it on time, on budget. That's very few people. But so you're going to you're going to get people who are asking you to expand your scope to say, hey, since you did that now, you know, can I expect you, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Dan's dang good decks to go build me some windows. And I think there's some ego attached to that was like, well, yeah, you know, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. How hard can it be? <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. Um, and I think so. Then, but then you now you're setting expectations for your customer that maybe, maybe you can't meet.